Hello and welcome back to episode 24 of Echo to 100 where I tried to prove to you guys that you can master any champion within 100 games. So right off the get-go here I could see that the Kane was in the top side and he's placed a ward here. So what I do is I start to move back instantly um, to... I decide to back at the five, uh, the 55 second mark so I can go back and get my sweepers and potentially clear that if I need to. I don't... Something that Kane normally does is he comes in and steals your raptors because he can do it so quickly. So I just want to avoid that happening. Um, so yeah, something today, is, uh, and you would have seen it in the thumbnail, the build that we are doing is a Rift Maker build. Uh, so first on the channel here, uh, first for me in general actually, and that's why I'm, I'm doing this replay file for you guys, so that I can show you how this game went um, with this Rift Maker. Because it was fun. Um, so Rift Maker is a big heal item uh, for... Um, AP users for ability power users. Uh, it has a lot of sustain, so we're sacrificing some of our burst damage for some sustain. Uh, it gives you some HP, so you'll also see this accompanied by a Nash's Tooth, and then we'll go into the Demonic Embrace as well. So, you know, this build is very fun, but it's a different playstyle, and, and we'll go through how it's a different playstyle as the game continues. We we'll start on red, we'll smite that just to continue, and we will uh, move to our Krugs and go for the full clear. Um, runes wise, I took first strike here, I'm not certain about it, I think maybe Conqueror could have been better, or even Dark Harvest, um, I took first strike because I wanted to be able to get as much gold as possible really in case this build didn't work out and I, I could pivot if I needed to, um, but we do have the first strike, we have the boots, we have, um, Future Market and Cosmic Insight. And then we've also got, we've gone for a bit of speed. So we've gone for, is this, what is this? Relentless Hunter, I was wondering if it's indigenous. Uh, and we've also gone for the Sudden Impact as well. And then we've also gone 10% uh, attack speed, nine, plus nine ability power and six armor as well. Um, so yeah, build, quite fun. Another sort of pseudo tank echo uh, build, um, but we keep a lot of the AP and just build a lot of HP as well. Uh, so we are into the cane, as I've mentioned. Um, this is a tricky matchup. So playing into any r extremely meta pick is is pretty hard with Echo because you have to scale to the late game. And you know, Kane's full clear is much faster than mine. Um, and stuff like Kane and Diana just sort of overpower you early game, and it's really hard for you to snowball, which is what Echo needs to do. Um, but what we do here is we start top and we start to move towards the Jin and Nami in bot lane. They have pretty hard CC, so I think if we manage to get there and get... A, th th like, this is our most likely gank, because uh, the Gragas into the Nar, we're not going to be able to gank. Potentially the Akali into the Silas. Um, and we get that scuttle there. Um, but the Silas is backed off already, so we're going to start moving down. And we're just going to be patient and see if we can get something here. So we're hovering a little bit. We're, we want to see what their intention is first. It looks like they've started backing off and I, I just have to go in straight away to see if we can get anything. Doesn't look like we do. Get some good damage off at least. But, you know, we're, we're going to have to back to our blue here. So I something else to notice is I didn't take blue straight away. Um, after doing the five camp, the three camps up here, Wolves, um, I saw that there was the bot lane opportunity and I wanted to get there first, but I was quite low. So what I did instead was take Gromp which healed me for a percentage of health that I was missing. Super handy little trick. Um, so yeah, the gank didn't work out quite as I was expecting, um, which is okay. Uh, it's interesting to see what I'm going to do here. It looks like I'm going in for a mid lane gank. So like I said, they are two melees in mid lane, which makes it e easier for me to gank. And uh, unfortunately, so what I should have done there so let's take that back a little bit and break that down. So I can see that they're low. She drew us into a shadow, i.e. I should save that E for when she comes out of her shadow so that I could jump. So I, if I jump to her here, get an auto off, use my Q, that would have been a kill. I was impatient there and we lost the kill because of it. But that's fine because we bring it back twofold. Twofold? I mean, a little bit more than twofold, but I'll... I'll, for the moment, I'll leave that up to your imagination. Um, or, you know, you can just fast forward to the end of the video <laughs> and see how how good this, this build worked. Well, this build worked. English, Drew. English. So, yeah, we, we move back to the full clear now. We, we could have backed. 
this is okay too. You know, we managed to make it up to our top side as our crocs were spawning. Um, it just increases our clear path. You know, and unfortunately that resets. It happens to the best and the worst of us. Um, so yeah, just, you know, more, more camps and the faster they reset, the more gold and experience you get, uh, which is kind of what we want. It's currently two fairly unsuccessful ganks. I mean, we, we've, we've made them back off, which... You know, you, you want more than that, really. Um, it's not the worst. You know, we didn't die at all, which is good. And the cane hasn't taken our raptors on either spawn, which is perfect. And we'll move down just to go for the full clear here, and then we'll probably be back uh, as our red spawning. Let's see what we can get done elsewhere. So this is the second last game that you'll be able to vote for the next champion to 100 in. So if you haven't, please type who you want to, uh, for me to play to 100 next in the comments. And I'll, I'll add that to the tally. And the Silas manages to get the Akali in the mid lane anyway. Because she is now 10 farm behind because we forced her to go back. So what a seemingly unhelpful gank actually turned out to be pivotal in what the Silas can do to the Akali. He is now two kills up. You know, it worked out really nicely. And it looks like we'll get this scuttle crab and see what bot lane's intentions are. Uh, it looks like they're both playing fairly safe. Um, but we can we can reevaluate once we finish scuttle. We see that it looks like the wave's pushing. So these guys are going to want to fall back. We'll back here and we'll spend our gold. We have a fair amount of gold. So first purchase, we get... We work towards our Nash's Tooth. Oh, do I change my mind? Yeah, we get the Blasting one instead. So maybe, and the Dark... Ah, okay, so we did it because we wanted the Dark Seal, and then we start to build the Nash's Tooth items. So yeah, we want to snowball this game, as, you know, you do with every single Echo game. Um, how is the top lane doing? It looks like the Gragas and the Gnar are trading fairly well. The Gnar, you expect to see... You know, far better than the Gragas because he's ranged. Um, but Gragas has really good uh, one-shot potential late game. Oh, and he's going for it now. So we could potentially hover. Our red is up. We have started doing it. So I think potentially we're not sure what he's going to do here. The wave is pushing into him. Oh, no, it's pushing into the Gragas, which is really nice. Um, so I think... Uh, hmm, unsure about this. What are we doing here? I think maybe we should have... Oh, no, we are. So we're going for an invade here. No, this is the good play. This is a good play. So we we move here because we know the Nars low. We know we can get him. We spot that ward. So we know that he knows that we're here. Mm, that's a sentence. Um, or at least the Kane does. As you see, he's pinging here. And you can see that the Gragas ult comes out. Knocks him back under the tower. I get that shield. I E. Flash out. And the Gragas managed to pick it up. That's perfect. Nice play. Didn't get the kill, but... You know, we got other things. We got one Dark Seal stack, which is good. We've got one stack towards our Relentless Hunter. You know, pre that was pre six. We didn't have our six up at that point. That's great. And now we have our six up, so we can repeat. We can gank again if we if we want to. So once you do that, you know, you go back to farming if you're low. We had the red buff, which is nice because that's giving us a nice little bit of healing. And now we are in a good position to gank again. We have our, our smite is almost coming up. We have our ult up. We have all of our cooldowns and we are fairly healthy. So we probably could have moved towards this. It's what I'm thinking. Before, and look, we, we actually sack off the raptors so we can do this a little bit earlier. We throw out the blind W. Unfortunately, Akali is just too... She's just got too much mobility. Maybe if we had come... No, I think, I think what we'd have to do is we'd have had to come earlier there to get that kill. So we are, you know, we're not making the best decisions at the moment, which, you know, leads to me saying it's all in the build. But, you know, we're, we're learning from these mistakes and we are moving best towards, um, you know, our, our better decisions. And we moved there when the king was diving. Great. That's great. Again, we didn't get the kill, but we got all the stacks necessary and the Zeri is staying. So we want to see if we can get something here. We can see that her intentions are to stay. She flashes, she goes over the wall. We manage to slow her and we manage to get our rock off. That's perfect. That's a better play. And that's what we like. We've learned from our uh, previous two mistakes and we've gone for plays that work. And you know, straight away we've got an assist and a kill from it. Worked really nicely. 
and just help the Jin push in here. Try not to take any of the CC uh, CS. Because the Jin can carry late game too. Uh, we start to move up towards the Akata Ali and Silas fight. Uh, the Silas manages to pull it off as he is item ahead of Kali, which is perfect. Leaves us in a really good position to go for Dragon. We know that the Kane will be somewhere around here, so we pull it out. Well done past me. And my bot lane, of course. And this is great, you know, first dragon on Echo, always a good sight. We don't get the E off, but we do get the smite off before the Kane does. And really good bubble by the Nami. We get another kill. Wunderbar. Uh, we see the Zeri here. We move down. Uh, not certain about this, to be honest. Oh, it's this, maybe it's the Seraphine we're going for. Yeah, I don't think we should have done that. We ult to the same place again, and we just get this control ward. We probably should have gone back there. I think that, again, that's unnecessary. We 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 could have potentially got a kill. We did have ult up, so we were safe. Um, but we could have just gone straight to this farm, which I think is probably the better idea. And we can take both of these camps at once now. We have smite up in a few seconds as well, so if we get too low... Oh, we reset the blue. Rubbish. So we are six Dark Seal stacks at the moment. Brilliant. And we are three Relentless Hunter. So this will make us... The reason I took this, let's specify now, is because we don't have the speed up from... I say this. Um, Relentless Hunter. The reason we took Relentless Hunter is because we don't have the speed up from the items that would normally give us a speed up. So for instance, if we were, go, if we were normally to go Tank Echo, what we would have done is we would go... Uh, Chemtech, so that we, and we move into the bot lane here, uh, so that Chemtech gives us a speed up, uh, again it doesn't quite work, they have that ward there, Chemtech gives us a speed up, uh, if we don't go Chemtech we go Burst, in which case we take Rocket Belt, which gives us a speed up, um, and if we take Sunfire we take Ghost, I don't think we could take Ghost this game, I think we needed our Flash just for that um, extra bit of escapability, uh, so instead we have taken Relentless Hunter. Which makes sense. So Silas has snowballed the leads that we managed to procure for him. Unfortunately, not the same could not be said with Gragas as they are trading. They're alternating kill for kill. So at least he's not really feeding this Nar. And we are now moving up. Because he it looks like he intends to stay. He is half health. He just took a tower shot. And he looks like he looks like he wants to get this wave as well. So we hug this wall. Throw our W out. And get the kill. Easy as that. It's it's so easy to get kills if you just read into the laner's body language. You know, every time we've gone in, we have seen that the it, we the laner has intended to stay, and that's when we've made our move. Um, so Silas starts the uh, the daddy scuttle, and we go for little scuttle just so we can get both, and then we go and help Silas with the rift herald. And this is nice. This is the second of two objectives so far. And we get that nice little gold buff as well. And give Silas a nice little thumbs up. Um, okay. It's clear that Akali knew we were there. And she goes in anyway for some reason. We get a passive Brock off. You know. If it's a free opportunity to half health someone, do it. Why not? And we're going to push this in and it looks like we're going to drop Herald here. And we do. But we can get this tower. That's great. And that's, I believe, first tower. So we go for the E there. We back out. I'm glad we backed out. We ult. We do some damage. We get the tower. We flash out. They ignite. They ult. I, and we go down. You know, that's all right. I'll, I'll take that. Um, could have potentially backed out a little bit earlier. I wish the Silas had come with me instead of, for some reason, the path down here. Um, if, you know, if we had both fought, we would have probably won that. But Silas gets a double kill, so it's not the worst, and we'll move back onto the rift here. Okay, so straight out of base, we are spotted on a scrying plant. A bit rubbish. So they know I'm bot side now. Um, the support, unfortunately, has died, and the, back, and the bot lane is low enough that he has to back. So we'll just pick up this wave. Don't let the resource go to waste, if I don't need to. And then we'll, we'll move back to our farm. 
We can see that dragon is up in less than a minute. So we want to see if we can potentially get a control ward down. We do have two in our inventory. Uh, so we do have our full Nash's Tooth now. We've got five stacks on our Dark Seal, which is great, even though we did just lose five. Uh, and we are getting the Leeching Leer towards our Rift Rift Maker. It's great. So we can see also that the back lane, the bot lane, the enemy bot lane has backed off before ours did, which means that ours will return first, which means that we have Dragon Priority. So Kane is going to come in for another steal here. And he fails again. I move with the Nami ultimate to see if I can get Kane in it. Unfortunately, I can't. But. Ooh. And we get caught out. No, we fell for the trap. The Silas didn't move fast enough again. Um, I overextended again. Rubbish. But we do get the dragon. That's key. Okay. So we'll move back to our blue buff here. It looks like the Akali and Seraphine are still pretty low from the last fight. So, and the Zeri's there actually, she is full health and doing a fair amount of damage. We see that they've engaged, we move down. Are they gonna dive? I wish they do. They might just push this in. We'll hover here and see if they do plan to dive. We start to move around, see if we can get this Akali. Ooh, various ults were missed there, that's, that's a shame. But it does look like we can get this, ah. Perfect. A blind shot from the uh, Jin there managed to get the kill and we can engage on the rest. Really good stun by the Nami. And we secure that kill. We ult there. It, I didn't have time to evaluate uh, whether Seraphine had her ult up um, or her, her root up. So I do just back out there. I ult out. We can see if we can get the cane. Ah, oh, unfortunately he manages to ult me. I just move away from the cane and the Nami so that they don't die as well. But we do go down again. Okay, top side. We haven't cleared this jungle in a while, so we'll do this. And that's prime position for us to move into this fight, whatever's happening here. Zeri blocked that. That wasn't the Gragas. It did look like it was the Gragas. Ah, oh, the Silas fails to Z. That's okay. So they have disengaged, which means that we can take our Krux. Um... We are moving towards that Rift Maker. Unfortunately, we've dropped all of our stacks on the Dark Seal. Uh, and we're one away from full stacks on the Relentless Hunter. So we just need that Seraphine. And a little spoiler alert. That is the most deaths you will see this game from me. So the Gnar is overextended. He is full health. We can see what we can get done here. Get the stun off. He managed to get the jump off. We smite. We get... Here, and he is doing a lot of damage. It is just this difference here. Trinity Force is a very good item. But only played on a few champions, which is interesting. Just I would just get that proc off to get as much damage on him as possible. He flashes, he ults, he misses. I ult, and he takes a couple of tower shots. So, you know, little outplays. If I had my W up there, he would be dead. So we get our passive off again. And it's not looking good for him. You know, he, he started coming out of that really strong, ended in a death. You know, people people who don't... You know, people who... Oh, I don't know, phrase this properly. People who underestimate you deserve to be punished. <laughs> they, you know, if they tower dive you and they're poking you on the tower and they're taking tower shots for it, you know, abuse that. It's so easy. Um... And, you know, if you can get a quick escape, a quick get your passive off, run away straight away, easily done as well. So here, good maneuvers, good maneuvers. Can we survive this? We didn't have our ult. That is the final death of the video. Spoiler alert. We'll move back onto the rift for the last time. Okay, so we can see that they were trying to siege mid there. We moved towards it. Silas leaves, not for very long, so don't worry about that. We do have our full Rift Maker now, and we are moving it into our Demonic Embrace as well. So we've got extra survivability now. Um, something to note as well is that no one's getting any armor penetration. So a potential idea as well would be Zonya's as well. Uh, and I think we do go stop watch this game as well. Um, so we've got our 
camps now. It looks like they are engaging in bot lane. We can see the cane was just up there. This is okay. I think we can get this. Get the Seraphine. That's great. That's our fifth stack. Throw the W out just in case they want to engage on me. Kane shows up so we can start backing out. The Akali goes too far in and dies for it. The Kane then goes too far in. We ult the Zeri. We break her, her um, shield bow instantly. You don't even see the shield for that. And then they also get the cane. So that was a three for one. Uh, and the only one who died is our support. Which you know, is low-key what they're meant to do, right? Any support mains in the chat want to <laughs> say anything about that? No, I love support. Uh, you are a necessary role and thank you very much for your service. Especially to this Nami. Um, so at this point, I'm barely strong. I, the cane's down. Uh, down for seven seconds, I can take his camps. You know, this this is the point where you know that you can carry on Echo when you're when you're in their jungle without fear of who's going to be there. So we have managed to pick up um, seven stacks back on our Dark Seal, which is wonderful. Um, potentially within Magi range here, so we'll see what we buy when we go back. Uh, as uh, my top lane is clearing wards, that's wonderful. And no, we just go for the blasting wand. Yeah, so the Blasting Wand into the Demonic Embrace. That's good. That's mixed with the Giant's Belt. So we go top lane here. Um, we will probably want to get a ward on the Baron. Unfortunately, we don't have one. Looks like our infantry is full. I believe it's the Baron. Yeah, it, it's showing there as Rift, as, um, Rift Herald, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's Baron at the moment. It is definitely Baron. It's over 20 minutes. So we can see they want to do something mid here. The enemies do. Um... I can hover here and see if I can catch someone out. The Silas takes the Seraphine ult, so I know he wants to engage as well. Really good. He engages. He gets a triple. That's great. And we move in. Get the cane. So, you know, I said we're sacrificing burst damage, but you still echo, you know, you still do a lot of burst. Silas healing up like a trooper, and we get a double kill. That's great. That's an ace. 10-4 and 7. 10 Dark Seal stacks, full stacks on our Relentless Hunter, and we have gained almost 600 gold from our first strike. That's looking pretty good. And you know, we are... These mid lane fights, don't take them if you don't think you're going to win, especially as a 5v5, because we ace them and we are just plowing through every single objective that they have. Uh, looking at it, Zeri's up and the Seraphine's almost up. I don't think we're going to be able to end here. Um, I did play this game a couple of days ago. So we managed to dodge the Seraphine ult. We don't quite get the Zeri. The Nami gets altered by the Cane. Interesting choice. We get the Cane. So here we would, we should just fall back. You know, we're all... Most of us are half health. I'm not, but I... Um, have just altered so I don't have that security. And we do have 10 Dark Seal stacks now. So we want to keep those as well. And just, you know... If you can coordinate with your team, I'll go top lane, uh, top side, and clear all of Kane's camps. If you guys go bot lane, or bot jungle, and clear all of Kane's camps, that way he has just no resource to be able to do anything. Um, and here we want to back. Dragon is up. I'm not sure how much we care about it, but we do get that demonic embrace, and we get the Mercury treads as well. Um, you know, we we have the CC from Meganar. We have the CC from. We have a, a fair amount of CC on the Seraphine as well. So I think just Mercury Treads are a good option here. And we do move down for this Dragon as well. Uh, I think it's more here because they have Bounty on it. Uh, and we can get it for free. We don't want we don't want to give it to them for free. Um, so we can get this and then just pressure base. Potentially force a fight here and get them to overextend. So we... The Jin gets out with his four shot. And here, this is what I mean. They overextend. We get, is this, that's two kills so far. Um, and at this point, we can just end. See if we can catch the Zeri. I think we can. There she is. She's not sure what to do because she's cut off by the Gragas. Gragas ults her into the wall and we pick up the kill. So that's what I mean. And that's, and that's even with the Silas who <laughs> is having internet issues from the looks of it. Um, hmm. 
I think we could force something here. Okay, I, I decide not to back. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm, I think I want a Magi's here, and this gets me Magi's. Um, so my idea there would to be go to go four man mid. Well, actually, I would want five man mid. I think because the Silas is AFK, uh, and the bot lane want to push out bot lane. It's fine to back here as long as they don't overextend. Um, are they going to overextend? No, nope, Jin is doing a lot of damage to that now. No, I looked away for a second, and he's half health. Oh, can we? Can he do it? No, not quite. That's fine. Um, we we're gonna hover bot lane as well to see what we can do. This is what I mean. I think I think our best option would have just been to try and take these towers, but you know one more one or more team fight should do it. We do get the magi's, so we'll see how many stacks we can get by the end of the by the end of the game. I was gonna say day. Oof, that has been a long one. And you can see Akali's here. She goes in. She clearly doesn't know I'm there. We can see that she's here because I've got my sweepers on. Perfect. And looks like the Jin's gonna get it. Perfect. We're happy for Jin to have kills. So I overextend slightly, take a tower shot, decide it's not worth it, and back out. We do have our ult up, so you know we're safe. We also have a stopwatch here. So I'm not too worried about dying, but I still want to participate. Or be able to. Get that Nami ult out. And we take the tower. That's fine. Silas is back in the game. Uh, for some reason, the cane is split push top. And, you know, the Silas is obviously still having internet issues because he should have just gone straight here. Um, so we do back. If not just to get this wave now. Silas has gone back, probably taken my red. That's okay. Um, yeah, we are quite slow to end here, I think. We do save this tower at least. You know, yeah, we're slow to end here, but that is just solo queue for you, you know. Not everybody is thinking the way that you do, and that's fine, as long as you're winning. Apologies for that little cut there. That was a very loud siren that went right outside my window, but we see that the cane's overextended. We get the blue smite off. We can see if we can get him here. The Gragas gets some good CC, and we get our passive proc off. Wonderful. Double kill on the Nar. We are super speedy towards that Seraphine as the Akali goes in. We ult just to make sure we don't get burst down. The Nami has a good ult. We E over to the Akali and we managed to get an assist on that as well. Fantastic. And you can see how much healing this Riftmaker is doing. You know, that's... Oh. As we flash in for the Zeri, we get the E off. We get the passive off. We break the shield bow. We get a kill. And you know what? We just snowball from here. Like, three auto attacks, a Q and an E. Easy. Uh, 25 Magi stacks. That is what we like to see. 15, 4, and 11. We have full stacks on everything. You know, we got almost 900 gold from um, Burst Strike. And, you know, uh, I'm, I'm sad that doesn't tell you the healing, actually. But yeah, really good stats all round. We'll go over and have a look at the damage. And as for damage, we are sitting at number one in the game. 32,000 damage. Really good for a non-burst echo build, you know, sustain build, and we still get the most damage in the game, uh, doing way over double the cane. Really good. I explained the what we did for the runes at the end of the game there, so hopefully you caught on to that. Just the Relentless Hunter giving us 13 movement speed and Sudden Impact doing just under a 1,000 damage. So if you have enjoyed today's game, please drop me a like, a comment, or subscribe. It really helps. I read all the comments. I love all the comments. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.